Double team comes, Shannon Brown. Now to Towns, his three is good. Resting right now as Roberts will hoist the three, and that's good from the corner. Justin Roberts with the three. Caught by Roberts, seated into the post. Quacamenta spins, left-hand floater, good. Here's Hammond, floater on the way, that one is good. Marcus Hammond's first field goal. He'll leave it for Roberts, he'll hoist a three on the way, good, and the foul. Well, make a note of that one. Throw it into the post. Kratholm going to work. Kicks it in the corner. Damani Thomas all his way to the bucket. Layup. Good. And the foul. Shot clock at 10 as he dribbles it up top of the key. Knocked away. Loose on the deck. Thomas now to Levniak all the way to the bucket. Finger roll good by Steve Levniak. Down. Fires the pass to Roberts. Justin Roberts. Pass the defender. Splits the double team. Damani extra pass. Levniak corner three. Good. And Brown. He'll give it to Towns. James steps to the defender. Off balance. Leaner is good. Ends it back in this game. They're giving up so much size inside. Shandon Brown will rattle in a three. You have to take it in rhythm. Brown doesn't shoot a lot. A good feed. And Shandon Brown gets Niagara with an 11. 40. What a moment this will be for the senior from Detroit if he can knock them both in. Already two for two in the ballgame. Free throw on the way, give him 999 points. Not tonight. That would be a record. <laughs> I'm obligated to say that. 54-39, second free throw. Give him a 1,000. James Towns, congratulations. 5-16 left. 54-40 our score. Raheem Solomon is checked in for the Purple Eagles. Justin Roberts goes out. Pass in the corner. Good feed to Solomon. On his way to the bucket. Had that one deflected. Gets it back. Reverse layup. Good by Raheem Solomon. It's now to Hammond. Marcus Hammond. Right elbow jumper. That one good. Evniak in the corner. Damani Thomas past the defender. Layup good by Damani. We wind this one down, and the Red Foxes have come into the Gallagher Center and won this 67 to 48. Congrats to Marist on a, uh, a good win. They got off to a good start there early on and uh, shot the ball really well from three, did a good job forcing turnovers, and uh, played really well tonight. Kurt, you've talked uh, the assist turnover ratio mm -hmm. has been a big thing this year. Obviously, not where you want it to be tonight. What do you think caused that? Yeah, I, I thought uh, you got to give them credit uh, for their activity. Um, they got some really good size and length and, and uh, did a really good job, um, you know, pressuring at different points and, and uh, forced us into some, some tough plays. So I think they deserve credit for that. But that, that's, that's um, important for us. Um, eight assists, 16 turnovers. Um, you know, that's not who we've been. And uh, we want to continue to improve that. That high trap. When you guys are coming on the pick and roll, that seemed to get you a few times. Is that something that they, I mean, Doug's known for his defense, but is that something that they they do, or did they kind of come up with that for you guys? They're, they're a really good defensive team, um, and uh, that's something that they do in each of their games, and um, they, they did a nice job uh, causing some deflections and turnovers off of that. Nine offensive rebounds in the first half, and, a, you know, 15 at a, at a big day. Um, you know, it's been an issue this year, but... Were there things, you know, when you went to the end of the game, you went to the five guard lineup. I mean, were you unhappy with your bigs or were you just trying to get a little spark? Just trying to get a little spark there. And um, at different points, we had that. And, um, you know, we want to be a, a connected group out there. And, um, you know, that's we'll, we'll play with different lineups throughout the course of a game, depending on what is necessary. And uh, that group played hard and, uh, you know, try to get something going. Justin, what was, you know, are you on the court seeing that defense? What was, um, what were they doing well tonight? What didn't you guys do too well? Uh, they were very active on ball screens, and like Coach Paul said, you know, credit to them. They did a great job defending us um, on and off the ball. Uh, we just had to make some better decisions, but all, all the credit goes to them, really. What do you guys, how do you as players handle, I mean, it's one loss, but it's a tough loss. How do you handle a loss like this? Um, every loss matters to us. We just want to make sure that we, uh, we get better in the next game, and we just you know we have today to kind of like think about it, but once tomorrow comes and we wake up in this morning, we got to move on to the next game. Justin, do you worry at all? You guys are four and two. You kind of the talk of the league. Do you worry about now losing that edge to sense yourselves as a contending team? No, I don't. Um, it's a long season. We got plenty of games left, and we still got a chance to make a run at this, and uh, and uh, hopefully do well in postseason. So it's a long season, so we still have time to get it back. Yeah, I, I think what's important to us is is the the, the continuing to work hard for growth, and uh, we have we have a lot of work ahead of us. And, um, you know, we're, we're going to continue to strive for that.
You got a little bit of offense in the second half from you know Damani, Steve, Shannon had I think his first three mm-hmm. of the year. Um, just seeing those guys progress, or seeing getting a little bit of something from those guys. How important is that? Just going forward. Yeah, I think the more balanced we are, the better we are. And um, you know, sharing the basketball, um, you know, seeing the ball go through the hole for those guys is a, is a good thing. And um, they played hard and, and competed. And, and when they have an opportunity to um, shoot it, you know, if it's the right time within the offense, uh, we certainly feel confident that uh, we want them to be aggressive with that. At the same time, Marcus and Marcus and Raheem struggled. Greg Parker Mensa didn't have a day like he's had some, sometimes this season. Is that, uh, you know, can, can you just Look at that as one bad night, or is that something that you just get back in the gym and? and yeah, we we got to we got to come back tomorrow. And we got to work. We got a quick turnaround uh, with Quinnipiac coming here on Sunday, and we we've played them once, and uh, we'll, we'll watch a little bit of film tomorrow. We'll get on the court and uh, put together a game plan for them, and uh, we're we're looking forward to getting back on the court tomorrow. I'm all set, Jerry. I was just gonna say that there's certainly no quit in your team. They they play they play hard. That's. We're, we're working to create that identity, and uh, we want to have, have uh, a connected team out there and, um, you know, five guys, you know, playing hard and playing together, and um, we're, we're continuing to work towards that, and uh, we're going to work hard to uh, try to make that happen. Thanks.